Hey guys, in this video I am going to talk about deloading and give you the inside scoop on deloading. Before I do that guys, I want to encourage you to stick around to the end of this video. Find out how you can reach me with your questions, comments, or encouragement to grow my beard as long and full and big as possible. So guys, nonsense aside, let's talk about deloading. One of my big pet peeves is when I come on to a lifting forum or see a lifter say I had a bad workout I'm going to deload or my form is off I'm going to deload or dear bearded beast of Duloc is it okay if I deload every two weeks every three weeks every four weeks guys my opinion is far too many of you guys are deload obsessed um, it's become a modern phenomenon. Everybody is obsessed with deloading and deloading frequency, and they want to deload every time something goes wrong. Let's backtrack a minute and talk about bad workouts and expectations. First and foremost, you cannot expect to have a good workout every time. Good is subjective. Just because you go into the gym and don't make progress on a given day to some specific standard doesn't mean it's a bad workout. Those days happen. They are part of the process, boys and girls. They are part of the process. It doesn't necessarily mean something's broken. It just means on that day you are not able to get another rep. You might still have seen a strength increase, but it might not have translated into a complete rep yet. So don't panic. Don't have a heart attack. There's no need to deload just because you have an off day. Don't waste a week just because things didn't go as expected. 90% of the times when I have a crappy workout, I get back into the gym, and guess what happens the next day? I have a great workout. That's part of the process, guys. That's part of the process. So, stop deloading every time you have a bad workout. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of your time. Now, let's talk about form. I see far too many of you guys saying, oh, my form feels off. I'm going to deload and work on it. I'm going to reset and work on it. Guys, you got to stop doing that, okay? Working on form is part of the process. As an advanced lifter, I still have to work on form every day. It's constant. It's a constant process. You don't master form. Weight continues to get heavier and heavier and heavier for you know it, late intermediate and advanced lifters, and we still need to keep working on form because the loads are increasing. We don't, if I were as an advanced lifter to deload every time something fell off, I would never make any progress, kids. So, unless something is dramatically wrong with your form, you need to stay the course. I'm not telling you to be reckless or foolish or do something ridiculous. But guys, just because something feels off doesn't mean you need to automatically deload and start working on form. You might need some more rep practice. You might need to change programs. You might need to tweak your program a little bit so you have some uh, some reps in there to practice form. But that's a, that's a topic for another video. So don't just automatically assume because your form feels off for a day that you need to deload. Guys, just set that idea aside and uh, accept the reality that you will have to work on form every day, every workout, every week for the rest of your lifting life. It's part of the process. That's how we stay healthy and improve. Now, how frequently do you need to deload? You don't need to deload generally. I mean, it's that that's going to sound ridiculous to some of you, controversial. I didn't deload for 20 years, kids. I took, I think, one or two weeks off in 20 years of training. Obviously, I'm not telling you to be foolish. I want you to listen to your body. I think it's okay to take a week off every 8 to 12 weeks just to let things recover. You're not going to shrink. You're not going to shrivel. You're not going to lose your gains. I think that is wise. But as a beginning to intermediate lifter, every week you take off is just a week that you're, you're wasting time when you could be progressing and making gains. If you feel good, there's no need to deload. 
If you feel great, keep it going. If your body starts to really feel beat up, don't automatically say, I'm going to take a week off. Don't just assume, you know, you need to take a complete week off from the gym. If you feel a little beat up, boys and girls, take an extra day. Take an extra two days. Play things by ear. Don't just rush into taking a week off. That is usually the type of mentality that people who spin their wheels take. That's as honest as I can get, guys, but I've seen it a billion times before. You have to base things on you. You have to sometimes take things you base things on a day-by-day -day basis, not just plan, I had a bad workout, I'm going to take a whole week off. Guys, stop doing that. The guys that are successful are the ones that will take things moment by moment, day by day, rep by rep, make those adjustments. You need to learn to get into that mindset. So, guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. It goes directly to my Q&A, a Q&A on a forum. That forum is a troll-free, hater-free, e-stats-free, bro-free forum filled with a lot of beard, a lot of PRs, and a lot of win guys. So come on over, click that link, join the forum, ask me your questions. I will help the best I can, boys and girls. I can't promise you will like my advice, but I will give you advice that delivers results. So guys, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.